Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Okay, uh, in today's tutorial we are going to learn about how to create, uh, how to store data in a file. In other words, how to create a simple database. What is a database? A database is simply, um, uh, it's simply uh, the way, it's simply a storage of, um, of information. Um, uh, an organized storage of information uh, that you could basically manage and retrieve whenever you want and most of the time it's actually permanent permanent in the sense that it's not volatile in other words it doesn't need l electrical power or any other kind of power to to stay um, you know stay alive or to basically uh, continue to uh, to, to retain the data um, in other words it's totally persistent so so let's 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 suppose we have this problem in, in our in front of us that you want to store um, let's let's take the example of a class one more time um, you want to store the information about students and what would be the information the information would consist of only two things okay one is the is the name of the student and uh, second is that some kind of test score okay uh, out of 100 right we want to keep just keep things simple okay so that's all we want to store we want to store the name and we want to store the so we want to store name and we want to store the score right that's all we are going to do and we are going to store it for each and every student okay so what what are we going to do we want to write a program that's going to input the information from the user so it will ask okay what's the name what's the score what's the name what's the score what's the name what's the score of that student and so on and the thing is that so far we were we we, we could we could write that program very easily the problem is that so far the way we have written before is uh, is basically you could you could write the you could run the program it will ask you for all this information and then it may also process it but as soon as it is done with it as soon as the program stops running as soon as you exit the program all the data is vanished why because everything was in memory and memory is volatile uh, we want to keep this stored permanently in some database uh, and for this we will be basically storing all this information in a, in the form of a file a simple text file so this this will create a simple database of of the information about each and every student so let's get started so if you think about it we have to basically repeatedly get this information what do we have to get we have to get the name and we have to get the score okay so we have to do it repeatedly so there has to be some kind of loop here, loop here right now there are two ways of approaching it one is that you ask the user uh, upfront that how many students are there and you loop for that much that many times this way you know you have a fixed you could use for loop because you already know how many times you have to loop because you asked in the beginning how many students are there okay or more flexible way would be to basically keep entering the information for as long as um, for as long as the user wants so you you ask the name and the score of one student and then ask are there any more and if the user says yes then you enter this and ask the user to enter this information one more time and then again ask if there is you know if there are any more students left and the user says yes then you basically um, <coughs> basically input the information one more time and so on okay so very simple either way there will be loops involved so in the first case there will be four loop because you know we already know how many times you have to loop in the second case we will have to use while loop because you know we want to we want to be um, doing it as long as or doing it while the user keeps on saying yes I have more data to input okay so we will be using while loop in, in this case it's totally up to you whatever you want to use in either case it's uh, it's fine uh, let's let's try to do it with the while loop okay so what are we gonna do we are gonna say while and then in while you have to have some condition that we will have to figure out and let's say we will figure it out a little later okay but what we have to do in the body of the while loop in other words what we have to continue to do in 
every time when we iterate through this loop what is the thing that we have to do repeatedly it's basically to input the user uh, the um, student name and the um, test score of the student so how do we do that simply we print out a message on the screen saying name okay and then we and ask the user to enter enter the name right and we store that in a string and the way to create a string is basically an array of characters and we are assuming that there will be maximum of uh, 20 characters in the name and then we are leaving one character for the end of a string character and this will actually store this information inside the this string name and then we ask the user for the test score okay and and we input that as a number into I don't know a score variable and remember since it's going to be an integer variable we have to provide the address see so scanf always needs an address here so score will being an integer does not represent an address the name of the variable score it has to be we have to explicitly provide the address by using the ampersand operator here we do not have to do it because name is an array it's a string but it's an array of characters which represents actually uh, which represents the address of this array um, integer score okay now at this point we have the name we have the score okay what do we have to do next now next thing we have to do is to store this information in the database which will be our file abc.txt let's let's call it something better database.txt okay we will store this information in the database but let's not worry about that for now okay let's see what we are going to do next after this we have to what do we have to do after entering the information of about one student we have to ask the user do you have any more okay are there any more students okay very simple uh, and we want the user to say yes or no to that question right and for this and then at this point we have to enter one character either y or n okay that's all we need to enter right now okay so we have to enter one character you never use usually you know a scan of percent c would you might think that that's what you should do because you know you want to store you want to input uh, per, uh, input a character uh, we do not use a scan f to input the characters and the reason is that the scan f actually signif what it does is the 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 inherent nature of a scanf is basically you input something and then you press enter and at this point the scan scanf knows that you are done with inputting now you, enter itself is a character if you are only asking for to enter one character scanf is not a, an ideal uh, function to use instead you should use what we what is either get ch or get char get char or get ch okay um, let's use get ch we have been using get ch before if you remember in every program we have this get ch which actually waits for user to input one character and the reason we have been using it here is because we we are not interested in the character that user entered here we are only interested in in stopping the window to close to close basically because otherwise the window will just as soon as the program will end the window is going to close and we want we don't want this to happen okay now what get ch does is it returns the character okay so let's say we call it answer and answer would be a character actually it returns an integer but you know integer has the character in it so let's not worry about it assume that it answer uh, get ch returns a character so we are going to store this answer uh, this uh, whatever the user entered as character inside answer and I'm gonna stop here because I'm running out of time and I'll continue it in the next video uh, part 2 of this tutorial so don't forget to watch it thank you so much